Today we have Western Emmett. This is an exclusive figure when you pre-order the LEGO Movie video game from GameStop and EB Games. Now other retailers may have different promo figures for every, for pre-ordering the game. And I know that for games, a site from a site and store from the UK, they also have this figure available in a DLC pack with the LEGO Movie game. Uh, the DLC pack also includes some other Western themed items and some available pants combos that you can get in the game but as far as physical stuff it only shows a figure according to Brickset this set has number 5002204 now I haven't really determined if this is the same number let's check a look in the back yep there it is it was the same number this is a Lego movie exclusive um, figure, as I mentioned before, one of three, if you count the ones that are available from Regal Theaters, they have the Radio DJ, and they also have the Pajamas Emmet. This is another version of Emmet that we've seen from the LEGO Movie, and it is featured in the movie. So, let's take a closer look by opening up the package. That's right, I didn't open it until now. This is the same sort of package, by the way, that you see for other types of exclusive figures, such as the LEGO Store employee or jor -El. And you can tell by the way that the texture is made, and they have that small tear open section on the bottom and top. This one has six pieces, and obviously does not, as, as an exclusive figure, does not really have a price to it, except, you know, to pre-order. I think that's... is that it? Nope. One more piece. There we go. Nicely opened up. And I'm glad because I thought I was going to have to use scissors to open it up. So, I'll just quickly build it. And I'll give you a look at everything on the inside. This is your basic Emmett outfit. The same exact one that we get with other Emmett figures. So that part is not really original. Um, it's only... if I'm correct about this let me know in the comments this is supposed to be a disguise that Emmett uses to get through the Western world so that the piece of resistance is not exposed and he does a kind of a poor job of being an, a cowboy impersonator from what I've seen in parts of the trailers and there we are our Western Emmett now if you look at his face you can see he has a drawn-on mustache in brown Kind of like how Scribbleface Bad Cop has a kind of drawn detail on him, and Business Kitty also has drawn on details. He does have two different pieces for his poncho, similar to other figures such as Taco Tuesday Guy. Only this one has a little bit of difference in pattern between the two, so I actually do like that it's not just a recoloring, it's also a different pattern. It's relatively the same size piece. And there are two of them that you saw I put on um, for both the front and the back. I would imagine that this would fit even if he had the piece of resistance on him, just like in the movie. So I'm just going to quickly see how that looks for him. So you got to fit it over the back. And you can see it mainly doesn't cover him. It doesn't really cover the piece of resistance. Even if I don't put the entire thing on, it's not going to make much of a difference. In fact, it'll probably just make it fly up further. So I'll put this back on, and we don't have any back printing on Emmett's face. This is the only face you get with this figure. We also get not really a cowboy hat, but this is more of a just your Indiana Jones fedora type of hat. And this is one that we've seen in multiple different colors. In fact, is it a new print? Is it a new piece? I'm going to quickly check with my Indiana Jones figure. So here we are with two Indiana Jones figures, one of them being Indy, of course, and the other being a gangster from one of the Indiana Jones sets I have previously reviewed. I'm going to take a look overhead on each of these figures, and it seems to be relatively the same. It's the same exact mold. For all three of them, I will twist them to the sides so you can see the hat comparison. 
So I understand Emmett's hat isn't really a cowboy hat, but I was wondering if it was any sort of new mold as a fedora. So all three of them, it looks the same. I know these two are exact, oops. I know these two are exactly the same. It's just a recoloring. And I will turn them to the back so you can see it with the back as well. So they are all exactly the same hat. So there you have it. We have the same hat, fedora, as other minifigures. So basically the new parts that you're getting with this Emmett are his poncho and his head. Everything else has been previously used for different minifigures. However, that doesn't dismiss him as being a amateur pre-order, you know, special bonus figure. In comparison to other figures that we've had in the past, they range about five pieces. And if you count each of the ponchos as, as one piece each, which in this set they do, this one has the most that I've seen, six pieces. Although he's a relatively simple design, it still makes for a very interesting LEGO Movie item. For someone like me who really loves the LEGO Movie, I actually like this version of Emmett. Um, it does bring a little bit more creativity to what you can do with Emmett, along with all of his other facial features um, from different sets, and also the different hats and disguises, or even just outfits that he wears. This would be an excellent collection item if you are into the LEGO Movie sets. After seeing the movie, you might even be more interested in this figure um, in comparison to before the movie. So, it's actually funny, I'm doing this review before the movie, or before seeing the movie, should I say. So, I will have a post review for how I think of this figure um, after I see the movie. Now, I don't imagine he has a big part as far as this outfit goes, since it says Western Emmett. It's not something that would carry out throughout the entire movie, but probably would only be featured in the Old West part of the movie. So, it's probably, you know, just as I said before, a way of disguising him so that he's not found by some of the robot cowboys that lurk in the West. So, I think he's actually a nice figure. He was worth the pre-order. After all, I was going to get the video game anyways, so I actually, um, it was just a win-win for me in terms of getting this figure, getting the game, and having the game reserved. I actually really liked it. So, I hope to have some good use with him in the future, with some of my other Emmett figures maybe, or just other LEGO Movie figures in general. Um... This is pretty much the only way you can get him, as I mentioned earlier. So, if you are available for all those other promotions, like I said in the beginning of the video, try to get him if you are interested in the LEGO Movie and the LEGO Movie figures. Otherwise, I will be doing a comparison video later on where I will compare four versions of Emmett. I have four of them currently, and they're all different variations, whether it's a hair, hat, or more. Now, of the total versions of Emmett, for what the, for ones that I know of, there's Western Emmett, Pajama Emmett, Hard Hat Emmett, there's, there's Lego Movie Set Emmett 1, with the one where he has the very scared face, there's Set Version 2, which has the kind of nervous looking face, there is an angry version of him in the construction mech, which we're getting in the summer. So, I'm up to six different versions. I believe there might be seven, but I'm not entirely sure. If I missed any, let me know in the comments below. And we will just have to stay tuned if there are, are, if there are any more that I was missing. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's a little longer than expected, uh, but I still hope that you enjoyed the video, and we will see you later. I'm a cowboy!